growing up as a photographer shooting surfing in California, you know, who, who wouldn't have known who Tom Curran is? So I always knew Tom, you know, but then because he kind of became this elusive, you know, kind of guy that moved to France and, you know, he was off the radar. I mean, I don't think anybody got to see him free surf much. There was very limited film of Tom free surfing. The Tom Curran uh, connection with making the first search film was almost like paved and just knowing each other since young. Now, it wasn't something, like, I, the thing about probably that first movie and all the movies we made, they, they just occurred. We, we kind of made these movies on a lot of investment of time. The real journey was to go to Africa. And that really the whole Africa idea, I think, was, you know, really brainchild by Derek Hine because he had this affection with Jay Bay. He knew what a phenomenal point wave it was. He knew that Tom was the master of the right hand point. We went there for I mean, over a month. We stayed in Africa. So, you know, there was one of those map, one of those swells radar. We, we got there, I think, a couple days before. Tom was flying in, like, on the moment. We all knew that Tom was coming. And so we were like, you know, it was down there, like, get your cameras greased and make sure they're working because the guy's gonna arrive and the waves are pumping. Like, it was, you know, the day before was good, but it wasn't as good as, like, the afternoon he showed up. We rolled on a, um, somebody just surfing to make sure it actually could shoot a surfing wave like some goofy footer dropped in and just did a bottom turn and kicked out and it just we rolled on that said okay it's rolling and the, the it was the next wave was tom's first wave a j bay paddling out Paddled out, took off on his first wave, and rode it flawlessly on a board he'd never ridden. It takes a certain person surfing to flawlessly ride that wave. Tom surfing is so flawless with his style that all that speed, power, flow, you know, his bottom turn, I mean, all that stuff was just like through the roof on one ride, first day he's ever surfed J Bay. I don't think at the time that I quite felt like that was a turning point in surfing. In, because of not being able to watch it back. So I mean, all those kind of moments that we captured without the digital age and you know, the simple age of recording you know, by hitting a red button, it's, it is, it's like a miracle that the moments that mattered actually got caught on the two or three minutes of movie film per roll. No one had ever seen a display of Tom Kern's free surfing until that turning point of the search and five years of exploration. Oh, 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 oh.
Look at Dirk. Yes! Woo!
स्वार्थ पायो
August 11, 1965. In Los Angeles, six days of deadly rioting and looting erupt in the predominantly black section of Watts. 34 people are killed, more than a thousand others are injured, and hundreds of buildings are devastated before order is restored. It's a turning point for America's civil rights movement, as peaceful protests in the South give way to violent clashes in the nation's major cities. 1984, a joke by President Ronald Reagan during a voice test for a paid political radio address causes a Cold War flap. All right, my fellow Americans, I'm pleased to tell you today that I've signed legislation that will outlaw Russia forever. We begin <laughs> bombing in five minutes. 1992, the Mall of America, at the time the biggest indoor mall in the United States and still one of the nation's largest, opens in Bloomington, Minnesota. 1921. Alex Haley, author of Roots, the African-American family saga that became a hit TV miniseries, is born in Ithaca, New York. And 1956, abstract painter Jackson Pollock dies in an auto accident on New York's Long Island. He was 44. Today in History, August 11th, Camille Bohannon, The Associated Press. <laughs>